There we go. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Our Generation with Melissa Shaw, where we educate, empower, and inspire. And I'm super excited about my show today. I'm here with Driving with Janae. Um, and you'll understand why I'm super excited a little bit later when she tells you um, why she is the queen of the car industry. I just named her that today. Yes, I like it. That's my name, y'all. Going <laughs> yeah. forward. Yep, absolutely, because that you are. Um, but yeah, so I just want to give a shout out to Farm Free Life where I'm at today. Um, I host most of my shows here, so I want to give a shout out to them. Um, have my amazing drink, which is the vanilla cardamom um, butter, which I absolutely love. So I will be really relaxed in about 20 minutes. Um, and then I um, also want to give a shout out to P30. Um, P30. What's up? Hey. It's okay. You know, you know I, I do know uncut, her. unraw. It's fine. Y'all know each other? Yes. That's so yes. funny. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so P30, want to give a shout out to them. They're a dope co working space off of 30th and Post. Um, if you have not checked them out, please go there doing and making some serious moves in the Far East Side. Um, and then I want to give a shout out to me, Project Our Generation, my nonprofit. Um, my nonprofit is uh, to help young entrepreneurs get up and started and running and make sure that their business is sustainable. Um, and you can check me out at projectourgeneration.org. Um, and some events that are coming up, I'm doing an entrepreneur reset workshop. This is part two this coming Monday. Um, if you missed the last one, it was a dope ass event. Um, definitely people had some breakthroughs um, and you know a lot of times us as entrepreneurs we don't know how to stop and be still and reset we're constantly going 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 and so this helps us to learn some skills um, to be able to utilize in those moments um, and then I'll be doing a will workshop at the end of the month um, I did one this past month it was great I'm gonna switch it up and put it into um, I'm going to do it on a Saturday um, just to see if maybe I can get a little bit more people. I'm going to do a uh, lunch and learn. So um, the reason why I'm going to continue doing a will workshop is because um, it's so important for us to be able to protect, especially as business owners. Uh, we're building this brand in our life and wanting generational um, wealth. Um, but if we aren't going to protect that, then the government will decide what to do with it. So i um, really passionate about helping ones to get at least educated on it and know what that looks like. You know, we live in a society right now where things can be done very easily. It can be expensive, um, but I found a resource that enables us to be able to take advantage of um, having our will done um, and all a bunch of other stuff and a bunch of other services and limited consultations. So please get with me and we can have a one off conversation. Um, and I also want to say I'm always looking for sponsorships on my show. Um, this will get you an interview. It will get you highlighted on my website, and it also get you highlighted month throughout the month on my show. So get with me on that. Um, and then I also want to this book that I read is called Pause Rest B. Really changed a lot of how I view how I move. Um, one of the things I wanted to read. Um, a lot of times we're afraid to rest. Have you ever felt afraid to rest? Yeah. Um, and in here it says that she thought that her entire worth was in what I would do and produce for others, even if it meant I worked at the point that I collapsed. Mm -hmm. And I really felt that because yeah, me too. Um, I do. It's like I if I'm not doing something for someone else, then I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Yeah. Oh. But if we can't be See. at our best because now we don't collapse. That's true. And we can't do what we need to do. What good are we? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So with that, I just wanted to share that with you. Please get this book. It's actually a five below. It's an easy read. I read it in like two days. Um, it's it's a dope book. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Um, so actually, I will be giving this book away free at my uh, Entrepreneur Reset Workshop. So if you want to come to that, it's on Eventbrite. Please look it up. And so now we are going to turn it over to Miss Driving What's with Janae. What's going on? Listen, y'all, Driving with Janae is in the building with Melissa Shaw. I've been waiting on this all year. Your girl is excited. I left work early. I got a nanny just for this girl. Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, so respected in the community. I had to be on the show. I appreciate yes. you. Yes, yes, you are you are amazing. Thank you. You got me my car. I did. Let Shout me, out. <laughs> man, let me tell y'all, I have never in my life had a car experience mm -hmm. like that. That's what it's for. Like, it, about. it's supposed to be that yes, way. It's it not is. supposed to be stressful. It's not yeah. supposed to be, like... I don't know what, what I'm going to go in with. Like, right. 
and we Girl, I was blown away. away. Yeah, we and I, I wanted to I, really treat you different because you kind of be at me. Thank so I was you. like, hey, listen, this is how this is going to go. And my team delivered. They and was her car is beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> like, okay, I'm just gonna get a little transparent here. I had no down payment, mm -hmm. and they paid my first month. Yep. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. You hear that? Zero money down. Holler at me. Like, no, for yes, real. Please for holler sure. at her. For so, sure, for sure. just a little bit about you. Are you from here? Yes. Kind of what yes. made you get into the industry? Absolutely, absolutely. So, I kind of got in the industry on a whim. It was not meant to be. I was selling appliances for HH Greg at the time. Okay. And they went out of business. Yes. I don't know if y'all know HH Greg on 96th Street. Yep, absolutely. So, I happened to walk across the street and it was a Hyundai dealership. And from there, it was just, I mean, to the roof I went. So literally didn't plan it. I ended up in the industry and I became successful very, very fast. Very okay. fast. So how long have you been in the industry? Six years. This year makes six years. I actually created Driving with Janae just a few years ago. Okay. So I've not always been driving with Janae. Okay. I was just selling cars. Yeah. Um, and then I branded myself. And what made you brand yourself? Geez. You know, unfortunately, I went through a heartbreak. Mm. Uh, one of the hardest things I've ever endured in life. Mm. I'll be very transparent. Yeah. Um, and I felt weak. I felt like there was no more life in me. Like wow. I was mourning and I mourned for a while. Yeah. Um, and then shout out to my homegirls. And they just kind of made me see the vision. Like, Janae, get up. You know, mm -hmm. there is hope. Mm. So I kind of just channeled that pain and turned it into a gain. Mm. Literally, I used that same pain that I had I and just that. did something positive. And it's made me, a million, I've cleared a million dollars since what? creating Driving With Janae. Oh my this God, is, why did I just get you? Listen, I'm telling like, you, this is year is three. This is year three, a little bit over year three. I'm three so... in a few months. And I've cleared a million dollars off of my brand. Is, it's oh, like, hurt me again, baby. No, <laughs> no, for real, right? Because I got some other stuff to do. <laughs> I almost feel like, oh, my God. Yeah. I almost feel like I owe him. Uh, right. <laughs> I am a percentage of my success because that pain that he put me through wow. helped me create Driving with Janae. And now I sit here today with Melissa Shaw. Oh I'm telling y'all. Like, that is so, I didn't even, that mm -hmm. is so dope. It's awesome. And, the, and if you don't mind me asking, yeah. how old are you? I'm 35. Girl, shut up. I'm 35. Yep, 35 years old. I'll Love be 36 that. this year. Oh and I guess God. the true message is no matter what you're going through, there's always a positive in Absolutely. that situation. Isn't it, mm -hmm. isn't it crazy how some, they always say things happen for a reason? Yes. I always hated that yes. saying because I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. But then yep. when I had my accident a year and a half ago, yep. like that's what put me doing this. Mm -hmm. I never like I See? never thought I would be doing hosting no nothing podcast and just being out there in the world. But I was doing a coaching session yesterday with my coach and I realized this is where my comfort is. See? Like I always thought I needed to be behind the scenes, but I wow. couldn't do what I needed to do. My bigger picture, I couldn't do that being behind the scenes. I have to be put out in front. I thought you've been doing this. You're such a natural. And when I see and I hear you, I'm so starstruck. It feels like you've been doing this. Everybody was, says that. You no, did. it's oh, like I. This is like so out of my it comfort zone. It took that so. accident, yes. to put you in this position to truly flourish. Yes. much like my testimony. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. So when you know, he, being able to, like you said, take those things that hurt us mm -hmm. the most. Cause I literally was done. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't know if I was going to see again, like it was bad. Yes. And you know, to be able to be here now and mm -hmm. I'm able to be in connection with so many yes. amazing and dope ass people that I would, that have brought so much to my life. Crazy. Just learning about Isn't that them. Amazing? And, like, like I am so excited for you being a millionaire. Like that is fucking. No, no, I didn't say be a millionaire. Well, I cleared a million. But still, <laughs> but okay, how, I took a lot of it too. No, how much? How many years did that take you though? Three years and six months. I have cleared over a million dollars. That is yeah. dope. It's awesome. It it's shows amazing. that it can be done. It yeah, can, like it can it's be a, but done. it takes that hard work, and yep. a lot of times we're not willing to do there that. There it is. It takes and hard work. And you have to believe in yourself That's constantly. True. And like you said, you have yep. people around you. So having that inner circle mm -hmm. is huge. It is. It is. It determines your success. It that really part. does. I tell people who you surround yourself with. You're strong as your weakest link. Um, I want to be the weakest link. Okay. You feel me? I want to be a, a bunch of women and men who are very influential, very successful, yes. and allow me to be the weakest link. No, for real, because yeah. I want to learn. Mm -hmm. I want to grow. I want to expand. Yeah. And you, can, you can't do that when yes. you're with people that are doing the same thing you're doing True. or lower mm -hmm. than you. Not that that's a bad thing because mm -hmm. we always at that point. Yeah. But once you hit a certain level, like you have to keep. That's that true. elevation. That's true.
So, um, so with preaching. your <laughs> so with your brand, so mm -hmm. like, tell us a little bit about yep. your brand, like how it started. Correct, and... correct, correct. So it started off with a heartbreak, of which I told y'all, yeah. and I took that heartbreak and I created Driving with Janae, and from there I kind of built the brand to want to just help individuals in unfortunate situations, mm -hmm. people who have multiple repossessions, uh, people who have low credit scores, people who don't think they can get into a vehicle. That's where I come in because I give hope to those who don't have any. I love you that. know, an 800 credit score can shop wherever they desire, yes. they can buy the building if they wanted to. Absolutely, it's the 400s, the 450s, the 500s, mm -hmm. the people who need an extra hand, mm -hmm. and it may be they've fallen upon unfortunate circumstances, yeah. And that's the people who I want to show up for, and which makes my business so successful are those the people who have the most referrals. Absolutely. They're telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, yeah. hey, she got me into a car. Right. You can get into one too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, so how many, um, do you know how many people you've helped? Oh gosh. I sell on average 50 cars a month. Nice. So you times 50 times 12. Wow. And that's roughly what I'm helping. But not even, even if I don't help you get into a car and I put you in a position to get into one later. I like, love that. Educate you. not a lot of people yeah, do that. They They're like, know. oh, well, you unqualified. Okay, no. well, then help me get qualified. You will eventually qualify. Yeah. What's important is paying your bills on time. That's going to be key mm -hmm. and establishing some type of credit, whether it's a small credit card, Kroger card, Walmart card, Ross card, mm -hmm. get something small and show that you can pay on time. Yeah. Then banks trust you. Mm. We have to educate our youth. I was never educated. Uh, absolutely. Outside of me going to the car business, I still wouldn't know. Mm. It's I've taught myself. So now I want to teach others. I love that. Yes, I love, what's been your youngest person that you've gotten a car? 19. 19. Yep, okay. You got to be 19 to get a car. Okay. Yeah. Oh, do you? And employed. Know you got to be employed too. If you are unemployed, I'm sorry. Step one is get a job. <laughs> <laughs> So if somebody is an entrepreneur, because I deal with a lot of entrepreneurs, yep. what do would they need to have? Yep, yep, I love that. Just you want to show income. Um, mm -hmm. And if you have income, it needs not be cash in hand. It needs to be provable income. So putting that money into a bank mm -hmm. to show a lender, hey, I have X amount of dollars coming in a month. Here's three months bank statements proving that. Gotcha. I help a lot of entrepreneurs. Shout out to y'all. Um, and it's just about managing your money. You can't mm -hmm. just say, I get cash. Mm -hmm. You know, it just doesn't work. Yeah. And yeah. like you said, people don't, we're not taught that. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's been an influx of a lot of young entrepreneurs. Yes. And so being able to help them and educate them on, to, so they don't hit those same mm -hmm. obstacles, you know, That's like true. we did. That's um, so true. So is, can you think of a, like an instance when you really was like, that like really made me push me why I keep doing this. I know you probably have several Jeez, I have examples. So, so many. Like for my single mothers, I had a lady catch the bus to the dealership. She had been told no at four different dealerships. Wow. And I don't think it was a true no. I think her circumstances are discouraging. Mm. You know, you've only been on the job one month. Mm. You know, you've not been able to keep a steady job. You've not paid a car on time. The average car dealer doesn't want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. It's going to take me probably three hours to get this deal done wow. and pay me very minimal. But for me, being a single mother, mm -hmm. that's why I really wanted to help her. Mm -hmm. So we sat down, we put our heads together, and she was able to get into a vehicle. Wow. Not the vehicle she desired, but then that's me educating her. you got to be more humble when odds are against you. Yeah. you. You can't come in and say, hey, I want champagne and have a beer bottle. It's like, you know, take care of that first, pay it on time, mm -hmm. and then you're able to trade it in for what you truly desire. Mm -hmm. But you must crawl before you walk. Yeah. And you got to be humble with your selection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So are you from here? I'm from Detroit originally, okay. born and raised. Okay. I went to college down in Tennessee, wow. and then I moved here after college, and uh, I kind of created my family. Had three kids, and oh, wow. this is kind of just home kids? for me. Okay, so how yeah. old are your kids? So I have eight-year-old twins and a nine-year-old. Aw. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm three and out. I know that's right. My man don't think so, but I am done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have one. And yeah, after her, I was like, yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, I'm cool. I'm cool. We are the party. You know, my single baby was planned. We wanted her. The twins were kind of a surprise. Were they? Wow. So, okay. yeah, I'm done. So do you have family here? Yeah, my moved my mother here, my brother here. He moved his girlfriend here. Hi. So a lot of my family began to migrate here once yeah. I became so successful Yeah. because now I can take care of them on a level that I wasn't able to before. I love that. So yeah, I moved them down, got them a car, got them a crib. I love that. And and that just I know that's amazing. I need the support feeling. system. Yeah. I got three kids. Yeah. I need to be able to grind and really make the money and my team yeah. takes care of me. My brother's at my house right now cutting the grass and feeding kids. I love that. So we'll take it. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. So um, where do you see yourself? 
Jesus. Like, oh, everybody asks me Have you me ever that. thought about owning your, your own, own dealership? dealership. <laughs> Shout out to LaBrea Williams. She just told me this. <laughs> so funny. On the phone, she just said, you ever thought about that? And I have, I think right now I have so much fun where I'm at. And yeah. helping people. Yeah. I think that takes it to a whole nother level it of responsibility. Does. And yeah. then I'm kind of a behind the scenes person as a dealer. Gotcha. I like to shake your hands, kissing babies, changing lives. I love that. Eventually one day, maybe I can have a partnership and have a dealership. But right yeah. now I'm enjoying where I'm at. Yeah. So where all have you worked in your tenure of being a... Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. So I started at Napleton Hyundai okay. on 96th yeah. uh, Street. From there I went to Andy, uh, Chrysler, Jeep Dodge Ram which was champion at the time, yeah. champion sold and be more purchased. So I've been in two places, Hyundai and then Jeep Dodge Ram, okay. which is now Andy Moore. Okay, okay. Because yeah, yeah. I, I remember when I first met you, it was deep. And then when I was like, wait, I thought that was the same. Uh -huh. So what's your, okay. Yeah. So I'm still at champion. Andy Moore is such a large brand. He has every brand yeah. from Kia to Hyundai yeah. to you name it. When I went to Avon, exactly. I was like, good for is, like, yeah, yeah. exactly. And y'all, I drove to Avon she to get did. my car. She I, did. I was like, eh, but I was like, nope, you don't do it. <laughs> and I was so honored to be able to take care of you. I was on the phone with him the whole time. Like, put my girl in a car. Yes. And he said, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I, and it was no, pre like, no pressure, mm -hmm. no nothing. He was like, okay, what do you want? And it's good to be able to go yeah. in knowing what you want. Yeah. It's helpful. You knew what you wanted, so you made the process easier. Yeah. And I think that's what we truly enjoy is putting smiles on people's faces like yours. Yeah. So here is the best experience ever. That's how I kind of want to differentiate from the other car salespeople. Absolutely. Because there's just tons of people that are successful in the car business here in town. Yeah. Um, but to really be a difference maker and give you a different kind of experience. And I wasn't there for hours. Every time you go to the dealership, three four, it's like, oh my god, I just have to clear my whole schedule. <laughs> take a nap, and run lunch. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. none of that. We don't operate like that. I respect my clients' time and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I wasn't when you said, "Well, I'm gonna have some miles take care of." I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, we good. But yeah, I mean, being able to mm -hmm. to still navigate it from a different. Like, it's all Andy Moore. Yeah, Andy Moore Automotive Group. If it's Andy Moore sells it, I can assist you. I love that. Yes, man. yes. Please, please reach out to her. Um. So how? Uh. So you've been the top sales person. Yeah, in sales? the state of Indiana, I've been top sales person in the state of Indiana all year. Look at <laughs> I mean, you. If you want to call my bluff, you got to come with some receipts. I'm very confident that I've been number one. Um, all year. I love yep. that. Yeah, and I take pride in that. So Absolutely. I know for a fact I am Absolutely. because I take pride in yeah. it. Yeah, I briefly worked at a dealership. Uh huh. Did you? Didn't I know that? Yes, for like brief. two or three months. <laughs> You're real brief. You ain't like it. I <laughs> did, but I didn't. I mean, it was very competitive. It is. And some dealerships don't respect. Mm -hmm. And like, I yeah. had, I remember my first deal, somebody hid the keys. Yep. And it's like, I'm like, oh, you know what? We about to go out of oh, the back because I'm about to whip some ass. Y'all keep playing with me. It's so, very competitive. It is. Um, and I think that's that's kind of what's made me so strong and firm yeah. because you got to show them I'm not to be played with. Absolutely. Keys, please. No. <laughs> like, I was literally going around that and it ended up coming out. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Yeah, because I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, you all not playing with me. It makes your skin tough. And I see why it's a male-dominant industry. Yeah. It's typically men. Mm -hmm. I think I'm one of two women on the sales floor. Wow. And I, I take pride in that. Yeah. And um, it makes me work harder. Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. so exciting. For sure. Yeah. Any So anybody, um, you already given us some tips on how, you know, we can make sure we're prepared for yeah, a car for sure for um, sure what else would you say like you know a lot of things if you follow me on all social media yes, platforms driving with janae um j-a-n-a-e the, the the key to getting into a vehicle is money down money talks so if you're bad credit or multiple repos you gotta have a bag trust me but if you're not in that situation the, the process is easy you come in with your id or shoot me a text or an email or hit me up on my social media platforms. I'm the easiest to do business with. I got paperwork in my car right now. When I leave here, I'm going to go do paperwork at a woman's house and hand deliver her the car. You don't have to come into the dealership I to buy the that. car. 
You just got to get in touch with driving with Janae. I'll make the process easy. Yes, yes. So have you done any commercials? Uh, with Lamont, that's it. Shout out okay. to speak on it. Yep, um, yep. But yeah, Lamont did a few commercials. I was told before I need to get on a commercial. Yeah. And host a few parties. I got yeah. the energy for it. Yeah. So that's next to come. I love that. Yes. Have you, um, but you've been interviewed before, haven't oh, you? Yeah. On, oh, uh, yeah. Wish TV. And Wish TV, True Car. Love I mean, it. I do interviews all the time, probably two a month. Mm. Um nationwide locally a lot yeah. of people want to know how am i doing it yeah so mm -hmm. how do you like how do you <laughs> how do you become the top like you know i utilize my time very wisely mm -hmm. when i walk into the dealership i'm not lollygagging mm -hmm. sitting around talking at the guy's desk i i, I don't have friends in a dealership i'm there to work mm -hmm. and that's about it yeah um so step one is utilizing your time but i'm a salesperson at heart I follow up. I look for referrals. I talk to people in the service drive. I'm not just your average guy standing in front of a dealership. I'm sure you've pulled up to a dealership and there's 20 people standing uh -huh. outside oh, waiting to attack your yes, car. Yes, right? it makes me nice. I purposely don't get out of the car. You hear Until that, guys? all y'all walk away. Folks ain't getting out of cars no more. <laughs> no. You then have to call them and bring them in. So yeah. I'm real big on the phone. Mm. I'll call you. You bought a car a few years ago call and see if you want a free appraisal, free oil change. I'm real personable. Mm -hmm. I don't do the standing outside. Yeah. Uh, but follow up is key. Being active in your community and asking for business. Yeah. Ask people. That's, that's the biggest thing that mm -hmm. even with in this, what I'm doing now is asking. Yes. Like for those sponsors. Hey, you want to sponsor my show? <laughs> like, I'm really used to being, and it's like, look, no, you got a dope ass show. Yes. Like, I'm with it. Have that yeah. voice, you know, yeah. like you said, ask. And one of the Probably three shows back, and I we talked about that. Um, is don't be afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. And my mother always said, "What they're gonna say is no." Yep, that's the worst thing they could say. Oh well, you well, wasn't getting it before. You're so. gonna have a lot of no's to be successful in any business. Yes, there will be tons of no's. You gotta learn how to digest that and mm -hmm. on to the next no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or yes. Yeah. Have you ever? Do you like to read? Um, or not as often as I should. I okay. do audio books. Yeah, yeah, there's this yeah. one book. It's called Go for No. Uh -huh. Have you heard of that uh -uh. one? I haven't. Yes, Go for No. And so it's like you going after those mm. no's because the more no's that you get, mm -hmm. it's gonna get you to that. You yes. know that yes is coming, baby, and it it's has to be come fruitful. because it's the no <laughs> it's a numbers game. If you True. think about yep, it, it is. you know, the yep. more that you put yourself out there, you're better Then yep. you get better at it. And somebody's gonna have, like you cannot talk mm -hmm. to 50 people. You and not get something somebody's from gonna buy a car absolutely yeah, for sure for yeah sure. but i remember my first month i sold 10 cars i did good oh well that's that's yeah. national average especially what the no. whole industry like i didn't know no what the hell i was doing shout out to you yeah so i <laughs> did enjoy it i think if i would have been in a better environment yeah i probably would sure. have taken off because sure. i like the competition i love talking with people mm -hmm. um and helping people you know, because I would, you know, I'm not going to push a car on my customer mm -hmm. if that's not for them. Yep. You know, it's, to me, it wasn't about the sales. It's about having that return customer. Relationship is key, guys. I'm a huge relationship yes. builder. Any business relationship is key. Yeah. Treat people good. Make them come back for more. Don't force a, anything upon nope. anyone. Nope. It's all about educating yeah. people and giving them their options. And True. people are going to buy from who they like mm -hmm. and trust. They are. And speak on who they like and trust. Interview. You hear me? No. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You got to be respected. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. Like, you know, I will never buy a car from nobody else. Driving with Janae for life? For life. Yes, yes. I even I had a friend of mine that I sent. Um, I think she was looking for a specific car, uh -huh. so maybe I don't think she yep. said we couldn't help her, but it was yep. because she yep. was looking for something. Yep, I remember. Specific. Keep yeah. sending them too. That, like you said, that's a no I ran into, but mm -hmm. keep sending them. Someone eventually will say yes. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm excited. Well, thank you so much. Yes. I know you're a busy woman, and I don't want it, but I appreciate you yes. taking the yes, time out. Yes, ma'am. I'm honored to be here, my me. girl. Yes, yes. So, can you tell the people where they can find you and yes. follow you? Follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on TikTok. Driving with Janae, J A N A E. The first five people to tag me or DM me and say they see me on Melissa's show, I got a gas card for you. Yes. First five people, okay. mention Melissa Shaw, driving with Janae, I got a gas card. I love it. Yes, She's always giving stuff away. You always dropping stuff. Yes, ma'am, for sure. I love it. For sure. Well, thank you, thank so you for much. having yes, me. It's been my yes, pleasure. Yes, so I'll and be getting out. a car in three to four years. And I'll be here. <laughs> I know you will. Have you ever thought about leaving somewhere else? Uh, Atlanta, maybe. Yeah. I might do Georgia because my kids want to be down there so bad. Gotcha. That's where their dad lives. Okay. But other than that, yeah. No. All right. Well, yes, this is yes, Melissa Shaw with our generation, and we are out. Girl,
was so fun. Thank you. You got, I never knew it took the accident Girl. to get you here. No, for real. 